should be fine with it. It's actually damn good. Get the fuck out of here! Oh no. Take the man down. Tough player in your gut. I'm calling both What the fuck? <laughs> Where is Scooter? Hmm. I think he's just being a little butthurt little bee, y'all. I don't even know if he's going to show up. Well, I mean, if he doesn't show up, here's what everyone needs to prep. Teddy is! Don't you knock Teddy down, Johnny! He might be. He's, he's not starting. You can't, you can't he say. Might be. Yeah, All right, Scoots. All right, dude. I swear, you better pray to everything that the Packers do not beat the Cowboys. They beat the Cowboys, stay by your phone. Stay by your phone, Scoots. I'm just going to oh, yeah. let you know. Mm -hmm. It's going dial right. tone. Right. You're, going, you're going straight to voicemail, Tom. I'm going to pick up that phone uh -huh. and I'm gonna say, y'all would have won if you had Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> <laughs> Center stage. Him and hi, Scooter. You look You're sad, gonna... buddy. You're gonna talk about it, buddy. You look terrible. You're gonna talk about it. You don't look happy. I don't want to talk about it. What can I say that Taylor Decker hasn't already said to Scooter on Twitter directly? Did Mike McCarthy forget to report? As eligible to be fired, Scooter. Did he forget to report? And now Jerry Jones had no reason. No excuse. To move on from one. Oh, blow up something that nobody wants to blow up. This comment I saw about a minute ago. <laughs> God hates flying. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to go down that path right now, Scooter. <laughs> Um, Eat the Mac. Five hundred dollars. You got to make a show. I hope it was to Scooter though. That it's would not to. Yeah. It ain't me. It ain't me. And I'm oh, at Scooter. Man. You are and getting. Because I already know punished. Scooter's punishment too. Well, I already yes. know Scooter's punishment. It's gonna be a fantastic roast, though. Honestly, mm -hmm. this roast is as delicious as a bottom round roast I made just last night. It was absolutely <laughs> delicious. I do want to say one thing. <laughs> realize the Steelers lost as well. I don't care. We expected to lose. You <laughs> lost to a seventh seed for the first time in NFL history. You are legends, my friend. And I'm going to be quite frank. I think Mike McCarthy should be the permanent head coach. He did the greatest coaching job for the Packers that he has ever done. And that was a clinic. A master class. Dan Quinn, supposedly great defensive coordinator. He chokes like he's back in Atlanta. Like what happened there? Um, I, I do want to say, like, I mean, honestly, like, Scooter, there's a part of me that feels bad for you because, honestly, I've been in the situation you are where you look so far, you pass your opponent, and you're in a different state. <laughs> Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, 2017. That if you were born in, what, 1995, 96, you have grown up, had probably started, you know, a career by now, maybe had one or two children, <laughs> and have never seen the Cowboys in an NFC championship game. You have you've got a substantial 401k at this point. And you have not seen the Cowboys even get close to an NFC champ. Oh, Scooter, I wanna say that I completely agree with you with what you said last week. Because I do think the Packers would have still won if we had Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought that was going to be a really close game. I thought it was going to be back and forth, but it wasn't. It was 27 nothing before you knew it. They scored one touchdown in the entire first half. And I think just going forward, because we've already talked, right? I've already done the clowning. I've already done the roasting. You're already keeping Mike McCarthy. The roast has happened enough. Okay. Listen, the only one here who can say anything to me is TDG, Thomas Daniel Grossi. 
the rest of you. <laughs> what are y'all even talking about? The Broncos are in a worse situation than the Cowboys. We actually the beat Giants, the Cowboys with Teddy Bridgewater. The Giants remember? <laughs> are in a worse situation. <laughs> Pretty than bad, the if I recall. The Steelers are in a worse situation than the no, Cowboys. Actually, we're in the same situation the in the Cowboys. Cowboys You're on a twelve content. and five the past three seasons, and are bringing back Mike McCarthy on first and second down in shotgun formation we literally played scared that whole game and this is the result we were out of character and that's what we get for playing like scrubs they're literally back, no sense they're coming back because we've gone 12 and 5 we are one of the top teams during the regular season it's just we got to figure out the postseason that's why they're coming back if we were to blow it up if Dak didn't have a no trade clause and we were going to say, all right, let's start over, Mike McCarthy wouldn't be here. But this is the last ditch effort. We're bringing everyone back and we're going to see can we get it done in the postseason? I feel better knowing that the Eagles arguably played worse. It that was did. what I was going to transition to. Was, <laughs> it did uh... make me feel better because they were talking elite trash on the Cowboys only for them to turn around and play even worse at least we got in double digits jalen hurts looked terrible without aj brown the cowboys defense looked horrible the eagles defense just refused to like tackle at all like it was the complete opposite of what we watched all year some of that is also like injuries coming to roost like in cleveland philadelphia have been playing bad for a long time like right no linebacking core was bad matt patricia was calling plays and that was just a master class of suck by Philadelphia. Dallas, there's just no excuse for. That's the issue. The excuse because for Dallas is our linebacker core has been decimated for a long time. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, Tree, you, you went in with no expectations like Tom, and then your expectations, unlike Tom, were... Were never. I mean, I was I was somehow still let down because I mean the Steelers made mistakes. That was the problem. George Pickens fumble, bad interception in the red zone, and honestly, they shouldn't have been there. I mean, it, it kind of really played out. Buffalo was a significantly better team in a lot of aspects. So, I mean, credit to them. But at the same time, I feel like if you're like for the Steelers, it's just like you're on the carousel like over and over. It's like I know they're gonna say like, okay, well, I mean. Tomlin's going to bring in outside help for offensive coordinator. They're going to bring in competition for Kenny Pickett. I just, I'll believe it when I see it happen because the fear to me is like they're just not going to change anything. They're going to run it back and we'll just be like the eighth seed or the seventh seed that gets blown out in the first round. And I think that's my fear that they're just going to be complacent and they can't be. Like they have to be bold and they have to be aggressive. I think if you have the exact same season next year, he comes back. Lose, if we go 12 and 5 and lose in the first round, he will be gone. That's basically no, that's no. I, I don't, but that, but you said that before. Like that's oh, what happened. You, you've no, lost I, to I, the. I think it's next year. Yeah, I, I think Scooter's yeah. right when it comes to like it, it. It's literally one more shot. I'm arguing. I don't even think he deserves that one you, more shot. Neither. I don't know. I like well, no, we know that because we're thinking logically. But Jason but Garrett went eight and eight three years in a row. Want to see a Packers Lions championship game? I think that's be the most entertaining thing we could all enjoy. So. 100% 49ers, not even close. They're going to smash the Packers. What happened? I've been doing that a lot lately. Okay. We had lost. I'm upset. All right. They yeah, sure. got the Detroit Lions over here posting a tweet talking about how they're eligible for the divisional round. Uh -huh. You know how long ago that game was? This was three weeks ago. Why are you talking about the Cowboys still? Because you so just I lost. Say, because you lost to them that, and they lost. should have beat you Two in that game. So I say, I'm reposting this when you lose next Fuck. week. Taylor yeah. Dash, you poked the bear. I've got a meme ready. They better win. Coming. Oh, <laughs> I've got a meme ready for you, Scooby. <laughs> All I'm saying is, be ready, Taylor Dick. Because there's one thing you can't do. You cannot troll a troll. <laughs> He's already lost by engaging with you. He's already lost. Please Look keep at how many likes or responses we're getting in this. Why <laughs> would you say cook tree? 
What are because you he, he's got a cook. Oh, he's got a cook. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, oh, listen, no, would care. you rather be responded Let's... with this? Shut up, bitch. Let's go, bud. Rather be responded with that. Hometown team, don't let me down. Oh. Start the countdown. Suck it, Kansas just, City. Yeah, Start the countdown. Them yeah. so bad, just, I know. They're, 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 <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Brandon. Countdown, please. Well, here we go now. Brandon just cursed the Bills. I'm so sorry, everyone. Sacrifice him to the pit. 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. Brandon Perna, well, he just rigged the score. He said the Bills would win 69 to 10. But now I don't know what to say. Big Ben, it's a clock. I don't know. I lost the rhyme. I forgot where I was going. It's all good. I'm tired. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it happens, too. We've, we're all busy. It's, just, it it's been a really yeah. long few weeks. I haven't yeah. had a day off in a month. It's just... yeah. The Bills are going to go play the Bengals on the bye week on their way to the Super Bowl just to make sure they execute Ooh. or get rid of all their demons. The Demar Hamlin Bowl. Literal demons. <laughs> like yeah. $303. Literal. Yes. And 69 cents. Two oh nine oh nine. I did not win. I got shut out. Zero super hey, chats. That's actually a good score this Love year. Exactly. You gotta get punished for getting zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, there should be a reverse punishment. Like 136. Okay. What'd you get, Scoots? What'd you get, Scoots? Scooter? Yeah, Scooter, Scoots. what'd you get? How'd what you happened? do, buddy? Yeah, what'd you get, what'd you Scoots? Get? What'd you get? I got one thousand two hundred dollars. <laughs> Oh, 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 we need multiple punishments punishment. for that one. Multiple we need punishment. A, I feel like he should first start with the skip Bayless and just throw out all his cowboy stuff in a receptacle. Start with yeah. that and then keep going. And you have to build a waste level microwave so it's accurate. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of ideas we can do here. We're one, done. I do like getting the, the Decker as eligible shirt. I do like that. That is oh. pretty solid. We'll, we'll have to do something Ooh. with that. Perna said last night as Cole Beasley was tweeting about how he hates men who paint his fingernails that he has to paint oh, his fingernails God. and tweeted at Cole Beasley, which yeah. would honestly be hysterical. You got to get oh. cowboys' fingernails painted and you got to tweet it at Cole Beasley. Gold. Yeah, yeah, you got to go to like a, uh, one of those nail salons and get it done, you know. Yeah.